Coming up on this episode of San Diego Prep Insider, we check in for Madison High School and Rancho Bernardo. The story of one young man's difficult offseason and his resolve to carry on. Chargers lineman Chris Watt breaks down the film of one young star player from Bishops. That was one of the best games I've probably played. And we take in all the sights and sounds of two of San Diego's top football programs squaring off. Welcome to an all new season of San Diego Prep Insider. Tommy and Ty, happy to be with you. So excited for this new season. Now today we are kicking off the year here at Rancho Bernardo High, where last year they won state. But Tommy, as you know, there's some big changes. They are going from Division Two up to Division One this season. That's right, Ty, and they also have a couple more teams added into their league. So we'll talk to the Broncos about those shakeups. But before we do, we got to go somewhere else, right? Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to our other half. Sarah and Christian, take it away. Tommy, Ty, thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be getting another season of San Diego Prep Insider underway. I'm doubly excited because I'm joined by my new co-host, Sarah Chafee. Sarah, how are you doing today? I'm great, Christian. I'm thrilled to be in San Diego, and I'm also told that Helix Madison scrimmage isn't a bad way to kick off the football season. Well, absolutely. Like she said, we got Helix Madison going on behind us. We'll check in with them in a bit, but first, let's get to a top recruit. Scott Young, he looks high school, safety and receiver. So playing safety is fun, you know, just having a dog in you, being physical, and then receiver, it's like going out there, just showing that you can go both ways and showing you have more abilities. Just to, it's, the, it's fun because you get to like, you get to hit people and then you get to go route people up on the receiver side, so catch touchdowns and stuff. Some of my best attributes are, I feel like it's kind of being physical, whether it's being a receiver, I'm at the line I'm trying to get off a press or I'm hitting from a DP standpoint. And then also, I can get in people's heads easy. I talk a lot on the field. My goals for myself, uh, really, I just want to get better, just kind of prepare myself to get ready for college and also be a great leader this year. You know, I'm really, I'm the guy everybody looks up to this year. I'm the senior. I've been there for four years now. So really, just be a great leader. And then team-wise, we're trying to go for the state. That's my personal thing. But also, I feel like that's the team, too. We want to go, we're going to get that state this year. Going into college, I want to be able to have a place where I can go get my major in and be able to have something to lean back on if football doesn't work for me. So that's going to be a big thing for me. I want to major in possibly engineering or becoming a teacher because I really want to coach. So I'm going to have to be able to teach. So one of those two things. Thank you so much, Mr. Young. Good luck in your senior season and good luck next year at the University of Arizona. Now, Tommy, it is time for our top recruit. He is always the biggest kid on the field. He's from Mission Bay High. Let's take a look. Cadence Jackson, Mission Bay, and I'm a D tackle. My strengths in, in my game are probably my feet because whenever coach comes by, they talk about my feet, say that I'm athletic, and I, I think that's my best quality. Some of the things I'm working on are um, like my hands, hand placement, and um, getting off the ball faster, quicker. Some of the things I'm looking for in a school are, um, well, like definitely my major. Like I want to go somewhere in the medical field. So anything that can help me out and get to that, um, get to that point, I'm definitely looking for that. I'm also looking for like how serious the program takes their education and the overall GPA of the team. Strength as a student are, is definitely like my English class. I love English and history. Those are my two favorite subjects. I, I'm studying on math to get a little better at it, but um, definitely history and English. I like rock music a lot. That's something people don't know about me. I love rock music. I listen to Walk by Pantera, like, repeatedly. Specs, <laughs> walk, why are you talking to me? I love that. <laughs> Usually before a game, I don't, like, like, probably, like, the whole day before the game, I won't listen to music and I don't talk to anyone. And then right like 20 minutes before game time, I listen to walk all the time. And then like when the coach says, okay, time to leave, I just put my stuff in my locker and go out. I don't really talk. It's time now for the watch list. And now Sarah, I know you're new. So what the watch list is, is a chance for us to give some love to the players around the county that might be a little under the radar, but everybody needs to check out. So here are your first watch list candidates for this year. Kelton Glossick from Vista. The 
Panthers senior offensive dynamo should be a centerpiece to one of the most powerful squads in the county this season as they look to bring home an open division title. Douglas Webster from La Jolla. The senior goalkeeper for the Vikings should be one of the most exciting players in the county to watch this season as he helps La Jolla defend its Division I championship. All right, guys, we have some big news. Okay, head to San Diego Prep Insider.com for some never before seen footage. Also, hit us up on Twitter at SD Prep Insider because we got some big surprises on there, Tommy. That's we? right, and we go from never before seen footage to a never before seen segment. Earlier, we got Chris Watt from the San Diego Chargers to bring in some of the top linemen from San Diego, sit them down, and break down their film. Here is the first installment in that series. What's up, man? How are you? Chris Watt. Daniel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I gotta say, uh, the beginning of your page, you gotta tell me about it. The nickname, 3D, how'd you get it? Uh, one of our coaches, Danny Newsom, he just, uh, one of the security guards at the school, and he always would come out to our games and kind of scream, and we let him start coaching a couple years ago, and he just, <laughs> just like, because I got, I'd get triple teamed, and he'd just go crazy about it, so he made a pilot for me, and uh, Emphasize that. And I gotta say, I love your motor for a defensive line, especially being a bigger guy. Uh, your quickness off the ball and your tenacity is one thing that jumps off the film right away looking at you. And uh, I mean, your power too, and the way you finish plays. It's one thing that's, that's gonna really help you at the next level when you're going after these uh, you know, offensive linemen and quarterbacks. You know, being an offensive lineman, you know, we don't really like defensive linemen. I'm sure you don't really like offensive linemen much, um, but definitely. It all starts in the trenches. Um, you told me this is your favorite play. Yeah. Uh, why? Why is it? Uh, just because like the game situation that we were in, we uh, had one up there. That team had won the state champ, gone to the state championship like two times, like in a, two years in a row. Okay. And no one really thought so we could beat them. It was a good, like it was a really good game. And that was one of the best games I probably played. So I was, I really liked that play and just that pretty much every clip from this game. Yeah. I really like the way you shed the offensive lineman right away. It looks like he's attempting to cut you. Um, and you're able to just kind of shed him with your hands, get off and just nail the quarterback. And I mean, you just blow him up. I think at the next level, um, being able to carry, carry at least one move, defensive lineman, another, another move, because um, you're not going to be able to bull, bull rush everyone yeah. at the next level. And I'm sure you know that. But uh, it's, a, it's a good tool to have, and you always want to be able to carry at least one move, uh, and the elite D-line and carry two. Um, but uh, you never want to, that effort that you give on every play, the way you're firing off the ball and uh, you know, trying to basically just hit the quarterback every time, you, know, you never lose that. But being a little bit shorter uh, definitely has its advantages for you because you can get under guys a little bit quicker, um, and especially if you're going against some tall offensive linemen who don't really have can't really bend as well, you're going to be able to get up and in and push him, push him in the pocket really quick. So, um, you know, sometimes people will give you a crap for being short. I was technically kind of short coming out too. I'm only 6'2", but um, you got to use your, you know, what you're given and use it to your advantage. So what's your, is what's your criteria going to be when you kind of pick a school? Uh, am I going to want to be there for four years and then is what how well off I'm going to be after if I can't play football. Because obviously I'm not 6'5 or whatever, so I want to see, I want to make sure I'm set, have a job, yeah. connections outside after. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's guys your size in the NFL, but at the same time, it's always smart to be looking ahead. You know, it's a, you know, it's not, it's a four year, it's not a four year decision, it's a 40 year decision. Um, you know, you always want to put yourself in the best situation to get a meaningful degree from a, you know, a good college and kind of control, you got to control your own. Uh, destiny. You know, don't let colleges kind of tell you what to study. You want to study what you want to study and what's going to benefit you down the road. All right, Daniel, it's great meeting you. Best of luck this year. Best of luck with your decision, and uh, yeah, get after it this year. Thank you. Yep, yeah, definitely. You got to yell it. Yeah. Two My name is CJ Verdell, running back for Modern Day, and you're watching San Diego Prep Insider. Welcome back to San Diego Prep Insider. We will get to the game, I promise you, but first, Christian, it's time for five questions.
We are joined by the best linebacker we could get because he's the best linebacker in the West. His name is Samson New. Samson, thank you very much for joining us. Let's get straight to it. You're rated as one of the best linebackers in the country. Is that something that's more exciting or stressful? Uh, it, it could be exciting at times, you know. Not, not, I don't really think of it to be stressful. You know, I just like to have fun with it, keep doing what I do. And you doing what you do, raked in 30 college offers. You decided on Oregon. What went into that decision? Uh, a lot had to do with Coach Tone, the linebacker coach. Uh, and also when I went on the trip there, and I loved it. The facilities are obviously good. The jerseys, you know, obviously nice. You know, they have a bunch of sets, but, you know, it had to do a lot with the coaching staff, and I really like Coach Tone. Let's talk about Madison a little more because you're still here for one more season. Everyone talks about football being a family, but for you, this is literally a family game. You got your dad here coaching, some of your cousins and brothers and whatnot. Talk about how much fun that must be. Man, you know, it's fun always playing with family, like actual blood family, other than like my team and stuff. Uh, having my dad coach could be, you know, stressful at times. He gets on me a little harder than others, but uh, as you know, it's always nice, you know, building up memories and stuff. And, uh, you know, having my cousins play with them too, I've been playing them my whole life. So that's also no good. So senior year, there's a lot of expectations on you. Did you do anything differently preparing this offseason? Uh, no, I did the same thing I always do. Uh, try to get faster, stronger, and smarter. Basically it. Faster, stronger, smarter. That's all leading up to what should be an exciting season for you here to cap off your Madison career. When it's all said and done, what do you want or think your legacy here is going to be? You know, just to be the best ever to come out of Madison, you know? Best line break come out of Madison, you know? I'm trying to, trying to make it happen, man. It's one step at a time. There you go, guys. Humble words from a guy that's going to be playing on Saturdays, maybe even Sundays someday. Samson, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank you very much. Best of luck this season. Let's go check out who Sarah's got. She's over in the weight room. Sarah, what's up? Thanks, Christian. I'm here joined by senior Warhawk quarterback Terrell Carter. Now, Terrell, he's, he's known for his explosive arm on the field, but he's also known for his vibrant personality. Now, Terrell, tell me how you use that characteristic to lead others in the locker room and on the field. Um, I just tell my teammates that, like, we have time to play and time to be serious. When it's time to be serious, like, we got to, like, get the work done. But then after we get the work done, we can always have fun. When you look back on your moments playing at Madison High School, what will you cherish the most? I would cherish us when we all went to Vegas and we like got to play in the tournament. We got to stay in the hotel and everything. That was the best part of being at Madison. Do you play differently knowing that this is your last year? Oh yeah, of course. We're just gonna play harder knowing it's gonna be my last time like playing in Madison uniform. So it's gonna like put all my work into it, make sure everything goes good. Is there a specific player that you emulate your game after? Cam Newton. That guy, he's that guy. He has like the, the the God's gift, like he can, he's just great. Now Terrell, what factors go into choosing a school and is there anyone helping you make this decision? Um, what factors going into me choosing a school is like, will I be able to see myself being successful there? Will I like be able to live there even after college? And um, who's helping me with this whole process is my dad the whole time. He's letting me know like, this place can be good, but like, it's far, but not too far, so like, if anything happens, I can be back in San Diego. Thank you very much, Terrell. Now tell me, Ty, who do you guys have? Thank you, Sarah and Christian. TNT is now joined by Eminem. We have Milan and Mark, the running back and quarterback for the Broncos. Now guys, you've moved up from Division Two to Division One. What are you guys looking forward to most this new season? Um, definitely just uh, proving ourselves. A lot of people think that we, uh, just wouldn't be up there to play with the best of the best and uh, just looking for a new competition. Milan summed it up pretty well. Uh, definitely looking forward to the new competition. Uh, some big teams up there in Division One. Uh, definitely looking forward to it. So part of the reason why you guys had to move up there is because you won states. What was that state run like last year? And are you looking forward to trying to duplicate that again this year? Uh, it was definitely an amazing feeling, you know, great. We, we fought hard all se season to get there, so uh, yeah, pretty, it was just great. Um, to get there this year, I mean, we're just taking a practice by practice, game by game, and just working hard to get there, just like we did last year. Uh, definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Um, not too sure, uh, but definitely the goal is to try to get it back there. Um, but you know, like Juan said, practice by practice, game by game, uh, take it one step at a time, try to improve every day. Now, we didn't just pull anybody out of practice. I mean, you guys are two of the star athletes. 
Now, last year, like we said, you won state and you gotta come back better every season. What have you guys worked on in the off season that you're gonna bring to the table this year? As a team, you know, we just, we just, um, we condition well, we gotta stay conditioned. That's one of the things we worked hard at. You know, we're not always the biggest team out there, so we, we'd rather be conditioned. Uh, we work on getting faster and better each and every day. Some things we work on personally is just like just being better at our assignments and just like executing well. So. Ah, good. Now hands on it, okay? Look, when you engage, it's a good first step. You know, working on our craft in the offseason is definitely really important. Um, speed kills, really. Um, I'd say we're, we're never going to outbig a team here in San Diego, um, but definitely speed kills, and you know that's that's our main priority. Very nice. And you guys are seniors, so this is your last year of high school football, but both of you. We'll be playing on Saturdays, it looks like. So, so Milan, talk about your what you're looking for in a school. And, Mark, you already know where you're going. So when, when you get the chance, I'll talk about why Fresno State. Yes, what I'm looking for in a school, I just want to feel like hey, I'm at home. Go, I want to be able to have that, that good connection with the coaches. I want to be able to just get in there and just like feel like I'm a part of that team and that family. Uh, the first point Milan made, the whole uh, at-home feeling, I definitely get that with Fresno State. Um, the coaching staff out there is amazing. Um, you know, the talent up there is just mind-blowing, uh, and I, I have a chance to play early up there, so I love the system and what they do up there and how they do it. Um, Coach, Coach DeRuder and Coach Keyshaw are great guys. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just a great feeling up there in Fresno. All right, guys, we want to thank you for your time. If you ever need any help out there, TNT out there with Probably Eminem, what do you much. say? Yeah, I don't know, maybe we'd be good water boys. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for your time. We'll let you get back to practice, and we are going to send it on to Honor Roll. Zari Eldlin from Torrey Pines has played field hockey all four years of high school. She has a 4.3 GPA and is interested in attending a challenging school on the East Coast. Her top choices are Vanderbilt, Michigan, and Tufts, and she plans on majoring in business or pre-med. She is also involved in Save Our Seas, where she does beach cleanups and environmental projects. Katherine Feldman of La Costa Canyon. Katherine has played volleyball all four years of high school, and last semester her GPA was a 4.66, and her overall GPA without AP courses is 4.32. She's interested in attending a school known for its academic rigor, and some of her top schools include UCLA, Stanford, USC, and Cal Poly where she's looking at studying fields in science, math, or business. She's also involved with Fellowship of Christian Athletes on campus and is also involved in National Charity League, where she's held multiple positions such as president and treasurer. Colton Vandermaid from Vista High School plays water polo and is also involved in swimming. He has a 4.8 GPA and is looking at the U.S. Naval Academy, UCLA, and UCSB. Ezekiel Noah from Helix High School, and you're watching San Diego Prep Insider. Welcome back to San Diego Prep Insider. Christian, there's so much more behind these athletes than what we see right here on the field. Well, that's true, and that's why we have a segment called Building Character, where we get to know some of these kids. And on this episode, we get to know Chris Fatalua here from Madison. May 10th, 2016 a day that Chris Fatalua will never forget, as it was the day he was told that his mom's four-year battle with breast cancer had come to an end. He must told us that God's gonna take care of your mom now. She's gonna be all right, no more pain, no more suffering. And so at that moment, what were the emotions? I was heartbroken. Did you think this was something you were gonna be able to overcome and move past? With my family, yeah, anything was possible. I knew they'd always be there for me. And I knew I'd get through it. But it's also the sport he loves that has played a role in his ability to cope with his loss. How have you used football to help get through such a difficult time in your life? It's been, it's 
been a real, a real reliever, pretty much like dealing with seeing her at home, seeing her like that, it killed me. But when I come out here on the football field and I put the helmet on, it's like I can get away from all of it. My mind's somewhere else, just focusing on football. And not, not, it takes all the struggles and worries out of life. And you just, you focus on one thing. Now Chris hits the field and will play his first season without his mom in the stands. What will you miss the most about her being there? After games, always seeing her, giving her, giving her that hug, that kiss. Just seeing her. I know she's there. She'll always be there. Chris will carry on with her not only in his heart, but also represented on his arm through a new tattoo that illustrates his Samoan heritage combined with the breast cancer ribbon symbolizing his mom's battle. A reminder that's not far and a motivation that's indescribable. When I look down and see my arm, I just I see my mom and all the pain and struggle that she went through, my family went through. And it just puts me on a whole other level. I can't really, can't really describe. What were some of the things she told you that have left a lasting impression on you? Just anything, anything I put my mind to, I could do it. And it's those words that have given Chris the strength to tackle anything that comes his way. Make sure to go to www.sandiegoprepinsider.com for exclusive web content such as our summer series, The Grind, training camp with the Madison Warhawks. Here's a preview. First day of Madison football 2016. Uh -huh. We are not playing this year. At all. Everything's At all. serious. No game. We're coming for that ring, but we're worried about week one first. And we go week out to put one. in work. And all this is it. where it starts. Now follow us. To, hey. Follow us. To When the calendar turns to August, there's only one thing on a high school football player's mind, practice. It's the annual starting point of a new season, a fresh start. For the Madison Warhawks, that means a chance to do something no other team in school's history has ever done. Bring home a championship at San Diego's highest level, the Open Division. Oh, what's going on, man? We here at Madison High School with Samson New, Eric Buchanan, Terrell Carter. We're going to show y'all around Come on, man. Come, come follow us, man. Come follow us. It ain't too big, but yeah. 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 This is where all happens. Uh, Varsity Lock is all right here. San Diego, here. California. Watch out for it. Just knowing that we seniors now, and it's our last year, we just got to cherish everything, every practice, every game, every play. And just knowing that we the leaders on this field now. Always. And kids and younger just looking up to Come us. On. We just got to put go. it in work. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's how it is. Now it's on, now. What you, what you live for, you live for first day out here pass, getting the hit in, getting physical. Let's go, baby. We ready. Hey, man, it gets lit out here. This is Madison football, I just find it. After my freshman year, I kind of realized, like, um, my mom and dad's not going to pay for college. Yeah. And I, I, if I wanted to go to college, like, the most, like, I probably had to get, like, a scholarship. And that's how, like, after I knew, like, like that football I had to take seriously. Especially, and especially with my grades, too, like, I got a lot of opportunities I got was because of my grades. <laughs> 
Christian, the lights are on, the sun is set, the band is playing, I am ready. Well, I'm glad you're ready because we got a segment called Game Day. It's where we check out the sights and sounds both on the field and in the stands. So Sarah, let's go introduce you to San Diego High School football. Let's go. I'm here with the Helix High School cheerleaders who are pumping up the crowd, but What's your secret to getting the crowd so hyped up? Well, we have a shoe we want to teach you. You want to teach me? Yeah, yeah. Wonder okay, all right, let's go. We are number one. We are the Scotties too. We still can hear you three. A little bit louder, we are number one. And the crowd is pumped up there. Good job, lady. Thank you. Perfect, Thank you. we'll send it to you, Christian. Thank you very much, Sarah. That, that was kind of cute. Could you guys hear that cheer? No, no, no. Let, let's show them some, some madhouse spirit. Christian, the Helix High School Band has invited me to join their band as they perform a song for us. So let's get it going. Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm with the people that all make it happen. The fans are cool, the coaches are nice, but these are the parents. This is the backbone of it. You guys excited for this season? Our kids have developed a great bond amongst each other, and they look forward to winning a state championship this year. This is the year for Madison to take charge. As you look right there out on the field right now, we're giving Helix all they can handle. Last year, Helix won the division, won the Open Championship. This year, we're coming back to take what's ours. I'm here with Team Zeke and all of his family and Zeke's mama right here. They're under here, they have their own tent to support Zeke here tonight. All right, so let's hear your guys' best cheer for Zeke, okay? On the count of three, can we put something together? Sarah, the bright lights, the band, the fans. What did you think of your first game day? Christian, I couldn't have asked for a better first game day. I'm going to love it here in San Diego. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now we need to know if you guys enjoyed it. Go on our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, any of that, and let us know which one of these two fan bases you thought won the battle of the fans. And there could be some prizes in it for you. And Christian, this is just the start of game day. We're going to be doing this every episode. So excited, San Diego, and I hope you're just as excited. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. That is a wrap on the kickoff episode for season two. That's right. For Ty Hines, Sarah Chafee, Christian Pedersen, I am Tommy Morris, and we will see you next time.